Okay, though I don't have, well, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to cheat quite a bit and paste in quite a bit of code here. Okay. So what I've done right here <coughs> was I created a new repository. I created a simple text file. I checked my status, saw that I have a new text file. I added the text file. I committed my work and then I logged out my work so I can see what it is. And then finally I tagged it in first tag, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a similar thing and add yet a bit more here. So what have I done here? I, here was the tag from the first one. Then I added a bit more text, the first dot text, catted it out so we can see it. It's got more in first in it. I created a file called second dot text. I added them both. <coughs> I committed the work. I log out the work so you can see both commits and then I tagged it a second commit. <coughs> okay. Then let's go ahead just for the heck of it. And let's do the same thing one more time. Here, I've added yet more text to first dot text. I've created a file called third.txt. I cut out them all so you can see the contents of first.txt, of second.txt, and of third.txt. Then I've added them all to the repo, I've committed the work, and I've tagged it. So now I can git log, see all three commits, I can see all three tags. So let's suppose at this point that I decided I made a terrible mistake <coughs> and I wish to go back to my first tag. What I suggest doing, and there are many ways to solve this problem, but I like this the most because it keeps ev all the information. I check out in a new branch called first my tag. Okay, so now I'm in a new branch called first and if I look at it I can see that it is where we were when we began after we made our first tag. <coughs> okay, everything's in that initial state and I like it. Now let's suppose that I say now I see what I should have done. I should have just added a little more text to first. Okay. And now first.txt has a little more text. I'm happy with what I've done. I go ahead and I commit that work. And then I switch to master. Okay. So I added everything, I committed the work, and I switched to master. So now I'm in master, right? <clears throat> and it's got all the stuff we had. But what I wish I were was what I created here, where I have my new happy first dot text. So we'll go back to master. <clears throat> I'm not happy with any of this, so I'm going to remove it. I just got, I just deleted everything. I say, I don't like it. 
and then I'll go ahead and commit that. So now <clears throat> I got nothing in there right now. I've deleted all my past work. And then what I'll do is I'll merge in my work from first. So I'm taking the first branch and I merge it in. And if I look at what I've got now, I can see that I have a file called first.txt. And when I cut it out, it's got everything in it. I'm happy. This is my new, improved, good world where everything that I wanted it to be is in fact in existence. So I, at this stage, <coughs> want to commit my work. And now, as far as I'm concerned, all my life is happy. I went back to the place where I was at the first tag. I've forgotten all the other stuff, and I've improved my first one and I've merged it back into master so that everything is happy. Now, there's one final step here which is <coughs> why I like doing things this way, whether there's other advantages or other ways to do it might be fine, but why I like this is let's log for a second what we've got here and you'll notice that we still have our third commit and our second commit. We didn't lose any information. So if we wanted to get, if we suddenly decide, hey, you know, there was something in my third commit that I kind of wished I hadn't have lost. And even though I'm happy with my current thing, you know, there was stuff I was doing there that was actually, I don't want to, I, I don't want to lose that. So now I can get checkout third and based it on my third commit. And now if I go look at my third commit, I've got everything from my third commit the way it was when I did my third commit, right? <clears throat> so nothing has been lost, right? That's the thing I like about this system. And then I could, in fact, go look at my second commit. And I can get checkout dust B second and build a branch based on my second commit. And now here I am in there. And if you look at it, you'll notice that here's the way everything was at the time I did my second commit. Uh. Sorry. Um, and then if I want, I can go back, check out master, and everything is still fine there. If you look, now we've got everything. We've got the way we were at first, the way we were at our second, the way we were at our third commit, and we've got our updated master all working happily. So let's suppose that at this stage where we've got everything back the way we like it that we suddenly realized there was something about the second commit that we kind of liked so let's go ahead and check out second <coughs> and let's take a look inside of it cat second dot text and we realize you know we were on the right track there we just should have done a little tiny bit more. So let's do a little more. And we'll go ahead and we'll modify second. All of a sudden you said, you know, gosh, I really was on the right track there. So let's go ahead and copy that and then commit it, okay? Let's go ahead and commit our work now. And then let's go ahead and check out master 
and get merge second into it. And now you can see first is still in that pristine state that we got it to after we did our work, but we've now also got second in there with its improved working system, <clears throat> at which time we could do a git add, git commit, improved by merge from second. Okay, and now we're in this good state that we're able to because we never lost any of our past work. It was still there. Everything was there, right? All of our previous commits, the first commit, the second commit, the third commit, the new first commit, the deleted commit, the all good commit, the second second commit, and then finally our improved status. We just don't lose any work along the way. It's all there. We can go back to any of it at any time if, if we <coughs> want to even have the deleted um, commit. We can have it, right? We can get back to anything we want to get to. And now here's our deleted commit with nothing in it. Or the second commit. Or the third commit all the different stuff that we wanted to do and we've got stuff in our updated status all right hopefully you understand now what you can do and can't do with commits and branches simple commands that can help you do get where you want to go it's not the only way to accomplish these things but it's one way to accomplish them without ever losing any work or a chance of losing any work